You wanna go wait down in the lobby and I'll be down there in a second? I need to make sure she's actually gone before talking because this is a surprise. If it all comes together, I hope I can get a lot of brownie points for some of the BS we've put caretaker through. Let's double check she's gone. I came up with an idea to thank caretaker or, or paybacks or, or making it up to caretaker for some of the, the I don't want to say awful things. Chelsea, I just need someone to hold the torch. What do I do? It's okay. What do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Today we're learning how to weld. What is that on the end? The glow's like that. Just some steel wire being pumped full of thousands of watts. We've been kicked out of the motor home. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Why? Was that fun? No. Any, I owe her. I owe caretaker big. And one thing she is a fanatic of is otters. I don't know, sea otters, river otters, doesn't really matter as long as it starts with an O and looks cute and fluffy. So what I've done, is reached out to a couple of people who have otter social media accounts and one of them got back to me and said yes. This is Joyce and Tepe. This is their otter bingo. A small clawed otter to be exact. He's on a leash with a cat harness and is freaking adorable. It's like a thick weasel. She knows that there's a surprise today because we're going somewhere and I wouldn't tell her why, but she does not know that we're going to see bingo. Caretaker, where did you think I was taking you? I didn't know because the only hint that I got was that I might cry. Did I actually say that? Yeah. I don't know what they look like. Well, I know what one of them looks like. Do you have any idea what's going on? Is it for me or for you? No, I mean, it's it's for both of us. It's, we're here and I thought it'd be fun to do something. But is this someone that you're gonna, aww. <laughs> hmm. This isn't bingo, it's just some random dog in the train station that came up to us, sat down, and then refused to leave with its owner. It's the Joyce, right? Yeah, I'm Joyce. How much of the area can we show? Or... Maybe not the building itself. Okay. Okay. Uh, in, in our house, it's fine, but... It's like this area is okay. This area is fine. Okay, okay. Because yeah. we, we have that problem, too, back at home, is people figure out where we live. Yeah, that's, that's a big... Yeah. That might be a problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay? Yep. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. I was thinking of titling this video, I made Caretaker cry, but you did not cry. Would you like to explain yourself? I was being polite and showing manners. I was in someone's home. I know, but I've seen you almost cry like at the zoo looking at otters. Yeah, but I'm not at someone's house. Yeah, but think of how good the title of the video could have been if it was, I made Caretaker cry. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. A boy. Bingo. Hi. <laughs> what are your thoughts on bingo? He's the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. Oh my god. Oh. oh my How long have you guys had him? Um, almost one year. Oh my god. Oh. I got him three months old. The entire kitchen is covered in child safety lockouts, more than I've seen at houses of people with bad children. Because he has paws, like different with cats and dogs, he catch everything. That's why you see like we have oh. this kind of like mats yeah. around and then we put all those like tech around our drawer because he can open it at uh. night and he bring everything out and play uh. with it himself. That's why we have all those like cage around. So yeah. it's like having a child, yes, like a small almost. child? It's like a child. But forever? <laughs> <laughs> forever, yeah. Is he destructive? Yeah, he tests a lot of stuff apart, especially those oh. like stuffed toys. His parents have three cats. Uh huh. And one of them loves to get Jump up on around. the sink and the ever in the kitchen. They're like, no. No ice in the drawer. This is like his space. He put everything, his favorite stuff in it. This, this is his hiding spot. So if he's missing, you know where he is. Yeah, usually. Okay. But he just managed to open his, himself uh, lately. <laughs> what does it cost a month to have an otter? A thousand hundred dollars. Okay. Hundred US dollars? Okay, so it's like a normal, slightly yeah, more normal. expensive than a normal yeah. pet. How common is it to have an otter as a pet? It's not common, but lately it's more and more people having like otter as a pet. Mm -hmm. But it's still not as common as cat and dogs. 
Okay. Because usually to get a cat or dog in Japan is roughly sanju man, so it's like three thousand, three thousand dollars. Oh really? To get cats and dogs, but to get an otter is like almost ten thousand U.S. dollars. U.S. dollar. Wow. What about uh, like a doctor, like a veterinarian? Even in Tokyo, there's only two like veterinarian take care of otters. Is it more expensive than a cat and dog typically? Uh, no, it's normal. Really? Uh, okay, that's awesome. Said, the fees are normal. His whiskers are so tickly. Yeah. He's lost. What was your favorite part of meeting Bingo? He's adorable. <laughs> He's soft. He moves like a majestic <laughs> Into the cat ferret. He squeaks. His booty shakes when he walks. All right, how about some fun facts about Bingo? He's perfect. He's about one years old. You need to let them bathe twice a day. Does he like like kind of falling water or just like a pool of water or both? He like like this uh, waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> just like a No, Bingo. <laughs> Has he ever tried to go in the toilet? Yes, he got. He goes into the toilet. Oh, he's pulling toilet papers. Really? Yeah. Like, like, kind of like now. Like he would do it now if given the opportunity to. Yes, he will. That's hilarious. So if he didn't close the door like properly, he would just open it and get into it and, and play, play with other things. Well, you also got to take Bingo on a walk. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Got yeah, these great setup shots, but then I gotta like hurry up and follow to catch up. He was a slippery guy to get into the kitty cat harness, which was pretty adorable. <laughs> I still actually can't believe they let you walk in. He's strutting. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so perfect. What was it like walking an otter? A dream come true. Okay, no, I, you know what I mean. I want you to describe to other people what it's like walking an otter. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. To walk an otter on a cat harness in a public park is a dream come true. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. What's wrong with your cat? It's not a cat. It's bingo. Was he like kind of squirrely? Did he listen to you? Did he just do whatever he wanted? Well, like, what was Bingo's behavior like? Oh, in the end of okay, okay. It was a dream come true. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay, I'll seriously answer. Bingo actually enjoys walking. He walks pretty fast, so it's. I wouldn't suggest having a pet otter if you are not able to walk. go on long walks because he goes pretty fast, and you kind of have to be on. Wait, his. is this like the one thing that should deter you from getting an otter? Is no, if you just don't like, like long walks. No, I'm just saying you have to be able to because it's not fair he needs to exercise he's a baby so he actually goes surprisingly fast he looks like a squirrel he does not look like a squirrel he's eating mud he's eating mud i did not get to walk bingo uh, i probably could have no i think one of my favorite parts of bingo is how disgustingly he eats food that's not disgusting that's adorable you look at his manners though. if you saw a child that's doing so that like if cute. a parent saw their kid doing this, this they would actually scream at them you can't even compare. I'm gonna make the sound. <laughs> he doesn't make those sounds. No. No one to He doesn't sound like that. Stop it. Thank you very much to Joyce and to Pe. You're very welcome, caretaker. Now I would appreciate a good cry from you so that I can make my title. I made caretaker cry. No. Okay. Thank you to Japan. Adios. Why would you say adios when you're saying because goodbye to Japan? I don't know. I, you say that all the time in California. Adios. It's, it's like goodbye is boring, but adios is like a it's like, a, like extra sort of fun to it. If you want some more of that hot bingo action, go over to Bingo's YouTube or Instagram pages.